Hey, bro. Hit my intro. What's happening, my visionaries? What's happening, Patreon fam? I know y'all in the building. Back in effect, live and direct, and I'm coming at your neck with yet another video, baby. About to check out Led Zeppelin, When the Levy Breaks. Now, this has been one that's been heavily requested for me to do, but as y'all know that I'm going through the Led Zeppelin discography, and we are now on Led Zeppelin. Oh. So, this is the last song on the album. Um, man, there's been so many things that's been going on through the, through the time when I first started the album to the time where I'm ending the album. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely have to listen to it in like full effect again. But so far, my favorite album has been Led Zeppelin 1 because it's got my favorite track since I've been loving, no, 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 since I've been loving you was the third, was the third one. Um, it's got Days and Confused on it. So that makes it my favorite, boom, right there. But Bay, I'm gonna leave you is also good. So that lets up one. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Bay, I'm gonna leave you. You shook me. I just pretty much almost like every single song from Led Zeppelin one. And Led Zeppelin four has been good, but there's been a couple tracks like I didn't really care for four sticks. I like the technical. I mean, I appreciate the technical aspects of four sticks, the the complex you know rhythms and stuff like that. But definitely wasn't my favorite. Uh, Misty Mountain Hop was another one I was like, eh. Um, but it does have some great songs on it. Black Dog, I love Black Dog. Rock and Roll was good. Stay Ready to Heaven is obviously amazing. Going to California is definitely my favorite song on the album so far. So I appreciate this to be nothing less than amazing. Hopefully I can put this on YouTube, but there's a chance it could get blocked. So if you're seeing this on YouTube, then good. But if not, it is on my Patreon for all my Patrons to view. If you would like to become a part of my Patreon, my Led Zeppelin Patreon reaction specifically, it will, it will be in the description down below. Only $1 a month. Go check it out, man. I've been doing the entire album on there because YouTube blocks all of my Led Zeppelin stuff. Anyway, with that being said, I don't want to talk no more. I just want to get into this. This is the Dark Remaster. Um, don't know if that makes a difference or not, but we'll find out. Anyway, boom. I'm going to put on my headphones the truth. Bam. We gonna do what it do. Let's do it. Mm. Love these drums, man. Love that harmonica. That bass. Shout out to JPJ on the bass. Hmm. Woo, these drums, man. I wonder who this is playing the harmonica. Mm, these chords. Uh. Oh, man, I love these drums. Mm. 
Yeah, this is a great way to end it. It's a great way to end it. Man, that's what I'm talking about, man. What a way, what a way to send this album off. Man, the instrumentation on this is absolutely amazing, man. This sounds like the culmination of everything that's been building on this album. The way that the Led Zeppelin ends albums off, from what I've heard since I listened to the first album, they always send it off on a bang. It's always off on a bang. They always bring it home. If you know, you know. Let's get back into it, though. Love that bass, man. And of course, Jimmy Page, man. The God. Love the double guitars. I feel like I hear an organ in the background. God, this potential this is disgusting, bro. And these drums, man. Woo! This harmonica. Love that chorus effect on the vocals. Mm. That guitar, dude. Ooh, this Come on, John. Mm. So much going on right now. I love how it's panning, too. The guitar. Don't like the, uh, the guitar. Got some flange on it right here too. Woo. The mixing on this is incredible, bro.
trying to get up. I have to walk away. I love how at the end everything sounds like it's being pushed through a high pass filter. Crazy. 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 What a way to end it off, man. What a way what a way to end it off. When the levy breaks. I gotta say, that's my second favorite song on the album. The first is still gotta be going to California because that one and I just heard that today, but that one, man, that one was crazy. But this song What a way to end it off. So this track is a cover. It's a rework of the 1929 song When the Levy Breaks, a blues tune by the couple Kansas, Joy McCoy and Memphis Minnie. It was written about the Great Mississippi Flood of 1927, the most destructive river flooding in the United States history. So when the levee breaks, we ain't got no place to stay. This, oh, that's, that's crazy. So this song was sampled by the Beastie Boys, Rhyming Still, and I ain't heard that before, but it was also sampled in Eminem's Kim, and I've heard that song a lot of times, and I've never heard this. I'm pretty sure he sampled the drums, maybe, but I've never heard the drums in this. He might have sampled, like, individual parts to kick the snare or something to use it like that, but that's crazy. I might have to go back and listen to that again and see if I can hear that. But, anyway, this was... Man, it was something crazy. It, it, it was crazy. It was a great way to end it off. Um, it didn't have that same energy to me that Bring It On Home had in the third album. When to end it off. Because, oh, no, 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 no. I'm tripping. That wasn't the third one. That was the second album, right? Yes, Bring It On Home in the second on Led Zeppelin 2. The energy of that track was just something different. Now, this one is masterful. And here the evolution from the first album to the so I now on the fourth album, there's definitely a big, big evolution in terms of more experimentation with different styles of music. But one thing that's been pretty consistent is it all sounds like Led Zeppelin. And the thing about Led Zeppelin, each song sounds like an entity within itself. It's like its own exists within its own universe, right? It's not like Pink Floyd where each song seems to flow into it as one seamless piece. Like, you know what I'm saying? Every track, every Led Zeppelin track seems to be existing within its own universe. Um, but it doesn't, it's not necessarily out of place. That's just how they, they choose to do things. I mean, concept albums weren't that big of a thing back then and uh, even not today, so. But um, I definitely did, definitely did enjoy this. Definitely did enjoy this. I gotta say, I'm interested to see what the fifth one's gonna sound like. Cause I mean, this one was recorded in 1970. It was released, it was recorded between 70 and 71. So, I mean, you gotta think, man. It must have been, and I think, when was th the third one recorded? It was released in 1970, so it was recorded in 1969. So, I mean, they were back-to-back -back with this stuff, man. I mean, they were back-to-back, -back, really. I mean, they, this is back-to-back -back heat. And you got to give it to them how prolific they are, dog. You have to give it to them. So, I pretty much enjoyed this album so far. It's not really my favorite Led Zeppelin album. I think my favorite one has been the first one. And I can say the first and the second one. Yeah, second one had a lot of songs I liked on that. But I'm interested to see what the fifth one is going to sound like. So join me again when I do Led Zeppelin 5.
Anyway, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Know the speed, know the deal, man. Keep it real. And if this is not on YouTube and it's on Patreon, I appreciate all my patrons, man, for the continuous support. Thank you for supporting me. If you want to be a part of my Patreon, if this is on YouTube, it's down in the description below. For my patrons, man, keep on supporting me and I will keep on bringing the heat. We're going to get to Led Zeppelin 5. 5. Um... If not this week, it's going to be next week. I'm not going to promise anything because last week I said we was going to finish last week, but we definitely are going to finish today. Anyway, thank y'all for coming. Fishing that reason, I salute to you. Remember, I always stay blessed, never stressed. Remember, I always do your very best. Live, love, love life because why? Life is beautiful. That's why. And I'm going to catch y'all on the flip side, baby. Deuces. Oh, 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 shit, oh, shit.